What is the primary need that a woman wants from her husband? What's the primary emotion? That is the continual love and the continual enveloping of that attention that the husband always makes his wife his priority. The husband always shows his wife that I'm thinking about you, I'm caring about you, i.e. I will always love you. To feel that love, to feel cherishment, they need to be constantly reassured that their husbands love them, that their husbands always take them as number one, always. If women could get away with it, they want to, want to be put on the pedestal and the husband just looks at them all day and night and that would be great for them, right? They want to be number one in their husband's lives. So they want constant reassurance that the husband always loves them. Now, brothers, listen to this. Wives, do not take your love for granted. You take your wives' loves for granted. You don't need your wife to constantly reassure you that you love me, you love me. No, you take it for granted. The fact that she's still living with you shows you she loves you. It does not work the other way around. A woman is always double guessing. Does he still love me? Does he still think about me? Does he still care about me? Does he still put me number one? And therefore, a woman has to have constant reassurance. And not only this, but another issue that men need to be sensitive to and understand. Women are very conscious of their looks and they're comparing their looks with other women all the time. We guys don't do that. We don't care about other looks of men and we don't compare ourselves. But women are always thinking, am I still beautiful enough for him? Does he still think me attractive? Maybe I've gained a few pounds, maybe after the third kid, this and that. She's always double guessing her looks. And so the husband always has to make her feel the most beautiful, the most cherished, the most loved, the most admired, though she always wants these reassurances. How does he do this? Number one, words, words, words. Never underestimate the power of speech. Simply saying, I love you. I know it's awkward for men after the courting phrase. I know it's awkward, right? But believe me, it never goes out of fashion. For women, it never goes out of fashion. They always love to hear this phrase. Our Prophet and Aisha were joking once, and Aisha said to the Prophet, How much do you love me? How is your love for me? And our Prophet said, and he gave a beautiful, metaphorical, poetic expression. He said, My love for you is like the tight knot that cannot be unbound. So then in the future, sometimes if they would have a bit of an issue, a bit of an argument, one of the two would remark, How is the knot right now? How is the knot right now? And Aisha would say this when the Prophet sometimes got irritated. How is the knot? So he would smile, he would say, as strong as it ever was. And this hadith is in Dara Qutni. Now the point being that the words I love you are something very important, but not just I love you, praising her and what she does. Husbands, never take your wife's actions for granted. Suppose she is cooking and cleaning most of the time. Not that I'm suggesting that should be done. Work should always be 50-50. Never take it for granted. Always, once in a while, come and compliment her. MashaAllah, that was great. You know, I really appreciate what you're doing for me. Those words, they go a long way. Your wife realizes, you know what? He's not taking me for granted. Very important. Another thing that the woman wants is time. And time, this is now a difference in language. For husbands, time means the watch on your hand. Women have a different dictionary. Women have a different vocabulary. For women, Time means attention. Understand when she's asking for time, she wants quality time. You make her feel like she's number one, guess what? She'll make you feel like you're number one. And that's exactly what marriage is all about.